guys welcome back to my channel today we're going to be doing a full face of Fenty about 94 96 percent of the products were Fenty anything I used was only because Fenty does not have it or I would have used it but um this is the look that I created just you know focus on the skin you know that's my thing so if you want to see how to get this look and my thought on these products then just keep watching Alright guys, so let's just get started. I went to Sephora today and picked up everything else that I needed, um, which was the foundation, the primer, the foundation, highlighter, another powder, and another concealer. So that was all I got and I have all my other stuff in front of me. I'm kind of nervous because I really want this foundation to work, but I just know typically like a more luminous or... Um, Hydrating foundation doesn't have the coverage that I like, so right now I'm just kind of like, please work, please work, please work. <laughs> but anyways, let's just get right into it. So I don't have anything on my face right now. I did my hair, you know, a little wet to kind of go with the theme. <laughs> um, I wish I had those like cute little clips. I'm going to order some. If you guys know where I can get some, drop that below because this is low-key a vibe, like what? Um, but yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and moisturize. I'm still using my Glow Recipe watermelon um moisturizer and i'm just moisturizing my face because i have not put anything on literally all day this um this video is going to be about 94 percent fenty there's like two or three products yeah, there's like three or four products that won't be fancy because they don't make it. So I'm just making everything work. So I Fenty came out with two primers. They came out with well two new ones. They have the soft matte one, which is the original one. Then they came out with a matte one, and then they came out with the soft silk, which is a more hydrating one. And I just wanted to try the hydrating one because why not? Even though depends on your skin type. Ideally, if you have a hydrating foundation on you're probably going to want to use a matte to just kind of counteract and to kind of make it more long lasting but you know I don't know we're going to see because I haven't tried this yet so I'm not going to talk too much but this is the primer and I'm just going to use you know it's new so it's not going to come out there we go I'm just going to do a few pumps I tried not to watch too many um, reviews on this until I got my hands on it. Today is the 15th, which is the day that everything came out. I went to the mall and stocked up. I didn't want too many um, reviews because I didn't want my judgment, I guess you can say, to be cloudy <laughs> or for me to be like, oh, it's not working or oh, it's nice or oh, it's this. I just really wanted to be surprised. So I watched like two two videos and they have flawless skin so of course it looks amazing on them but um we're gonna see how it works on scarred troubled traumatized skin so i'm using the foundation the hydrating longwear foundation i actually got shade 430 and i wear shade 420 but from the two videos that I did watch, they said that the foundation doesn't oxidize, which you guys know the original one does oxidize, which they said it doesn't oxidize, it just dries down, oxidizes. <laughs> but um, they said it doesn't oxidize, so I feel like because this one doesn't, if I get 420, well first of all, let me just rewind, they didn't have 420, but I was just trying to convince myself that this was going to work, but realistically it makes more sense. So I did get a sample of 420 in case I feel like this is too dark for me. But we're just going to see how this works. I do have my sample of 420 and here's 430. I really think when I swatched 430 before buying it, I really think 430 is going to be the better match. But we're going to see. I'm starting off with two pumps and I didn't buy the um, foundation brush or the sponge. I did it the first time and I did it this time because I just didn't. So I'm actually going to do one side with the brush and one side with the with the sponge to see which one has a better application only because I feel like when I first started using the original foundation I used to always use a sponge for my foundation but when I started using um, the pro matte or pro filter or whatever it just 
it just didn't work. It dried down too fast and it absorbed too much in the sponge which made my application very splotchy. So I personally prefer to use the original foundation with the um with a brush. <laughs> So I do like the finish of this so far. It is really like luminous and skin like. However, it's not full coverage. I don't know what the claims are, but I really don't think it's full coverage. You can't, I, I feel like you can't make anything hydrating or luminous full coverage because whatever properties are in it breaks down the product and makes it a little bit more sheer and you can't make anything too full coverage that's gonna slide off of your face so it just it just makes sense so this is a, the first layer you guys can still see some of my blemishes peeking through either on the forehead but um that's only one layer we're gonna see how the foundation layers personally when I use the original one I do two layers anyway so I'm just like mm, whatever and now I'm using my sponge for the other side. I actually like the sponge side a lot better. Yeah, the sponge side is definitely a lot better. It gives me a lot more coverage, so I might be team sponge. You guys, this is still one layer of the foundation, but I'm just going over it with the sponge so that the finish is even. And of course, this foundation is Ooh, God damn. I mean, realistically, this foundation is going to work once I powder and highlight and all that kind of stuff. But on camera, like in person, it's it's matching. It's matching. It's a little orange, but it's matching. And the camera, ooh. So now I'm just going to go in with a little bit of the 420, that sample that I have, and apply it to the center of my face. See, so yeah, I'm using 420 in the center for my second layer. And look at that. Oh my god, so much better. All right, guys. So, the second layer is complete and I'm not mad at it like a little bit of my blemishes are showing through but it's not that bad and it doesn't feel heavy at all I really like the sponge a lot better for this foundation and I like the original one with the sponge I mean with the brush so hydrating sponge matte brush and you guys see how the 420 just looks a little bit better it did tone it down so I'm definitely taking this back and exchanging it the 420 definitely looks a lot better. So now it's time to, do I want to use the matchsticks? I don't really care for them. So anyways, now I'm going to be using the concealer. This is the first concealer that I purchased from Fenty in the shade 490. Um, I didn't feel like it was like brightening enough. So I'm just going to kind of use this to conceal or like my first layer of, of concealer. Because you guys know I always use two layers. So this is it <laughs> this one is definitely more on the warmer side so it's gonna do a little bit of correcting honey but guys as i'm blending this out my skin looks delicious <laughs> so that is the first layer of concealer um it's just like all right you know what i'm saying but now we're gonna bring it up a notch so i got the shade 370 it's very bright but that's what i like i kept trying not to get anything brighter because i was like oh my gosh like you know the foundation is supposed to go with the concealer and if i go to 370 like that just shows how much of extra ass bitch i am but it is what it is so i'm using 470 
under my eyes and on the bridge of my nose. All right, so that is completely blended out. Yes, ma'am. And I actually went and got a mini um, Fenty powder in the shade Honey because I feel like, number one, this is not a powder that you bake with. This is not a powder that you bake with at all. I just want to put that out there. Um, it might be bakeable with this foundation because it is a little bit more hydro because it is a little bit more hydrating so it won't cling to the matteness. But I do feel like with the Fenty by itself, if I try to bake with it or something, it just it just washes me out way too much. So I got honey to lock me in and give me the brightening effect, then I'll layer it with honey because as you know, I typically layer my setting powders anyway. So I'm just gonna apply honey with my sponge. And I'm just gonna press that in set everything and the thing is you guys I freaking love this powder like when you put it on you look so filtered I just wish it wasn't as dry but with this foundation I feel like it's gonna it's just as dry as it needs to be if that makes sense because look how much that mattified my face in that quick second that's crazy so yeah that is Perfect, I'm living. Do you guys see them? So, now that we've set everything, like you guys, my skin looks orgasmic. I'm gonna take a little bit of banana. I, this was the original one that I purchased, and you guys see it's still full. Like, you do not need a lot of this at all. <laughs> and I'm just gonna focus that, like, right here to chisel my nose a little bit and brighten my under eye. And um, a lot of people use the Fenty loose powders for all over, but again, I wasn't the biggest fan of the powders, especially not all over my face. That's not my thing. So I'm going to be going in with my Sephora Micro Smooth Powder. And I'm going to apply that all over. So I'm going to take a big old brush and I'm just going to lightly press my skin. Now to my favorite part bronzing oh my gosh you guys these bronzers are amazing I love them I've said that since day one they are that girl so now I'm going to be going in with Coco Naughty because I like to kind of map out my contour and give my face a little bit of depth and then I go in with Mocha Mommy and now this is Mocha Mommy that I'm just you know doing my thing with So now I'm using honey to just carve out the bottom. And this is actually the first highlighter that I've ever purchased besides Trophy Wife. Trophy Wife was a scam. <laughs> I felt bamboozled. It's beautiful as an eyeshadow, but, but um, as a highlighter, it just looks good in, in pictures. It looks good on photography, but as far as like real life on my face, Talk about stress. <laughs> so I got a new highlighter and this is in the shade African Snack in Low Money. Um, I think I'm using Low Money. Okay, so I used to always see these um, these highlighters and be like, eh, they're okay. They're all right. But like, this is so bomb. I'm gonna use afternoon snack on my nose. Did you guys know how I feel about my nose highlight? I would just prefer for it to be a little bit softer. Wow. This is, I just wanna keep adding it. And you guys know I've been a little iffy about um, highlighters lately but this look, look at my skin look at 
my skin does. And I haven't even finished blending it out. I just. All right. Well, she's cute. I know this is not about this, but it is. <laughs> so now I'm just gonna dust everything away. I'm just gonna go over everything again with my um, micro smooth powder just to make sure everything is nice and blended and seamless. And this little scar is still showing, but you guys see that? It's not really bothering me. That one has a mind of its own. Wow, you guys, my face looks so good, doesn't it? Or am I just feeling myself too much? <laughs> and I'm gonna go in with my NYX, um, as you can see, I use it a lot. My NYX Bear With Me Spray. And then I'm gonna do my brows off camera because Fenty doesn't have any brow products. So I'm gonna do my brows, put on some lashes. I'm gonna put some bronzer in my eyes. You guys know that's like my thing and I'll be back. All right guys, I am back. Sorry if there's a slight lighting change. You know I'm not the most tech savvy person. So here we are. But I'm about to do my lips. I pretty much finished my face. I just put some of that bronzer in my crease, added some lashes, got that highlight in my inner corner. I'm about to do my lips. So typically I would just, for like a video like this, I would just put the Fenty gloss on, but I feel like we all know what the Fenty gloss looks like. So I'm gonna just do a little, a little thing. So I'm just lining my lips per usual. Now that that's on, I'm gonna go in with my B. Taylor Beauty lip gloss. This has been my go-to recently. This is that I could have a little bit more color. Oh my god, my chest is so red, you guys. And I'm just gonna apply fussy on top so that I have more of like a glossy look. Ooh, yes. You guys, why is my chest so red? You guys probably think I'm sick. <laughs> hey, you guys, that completes today's video. I actually really like this foundation. Look at my skin. Like, what is happening? <laughs> but yeah, I really like this foundation. I will definitely recommend it. I think the primer is great as well. I really like this primer because it's like hydrating, but it also gives me this like smooth finish. The foundation set nicely like it doesn't feel wet I feel like normally with like luminous or hydrating foundations I feel like immediately that they're breaking apart with this one I feel like I'm locked in I feel like it is truly a long wear foundation so Tasha gives it a thumbs up um, don't ask me if it's for oily skin or dry skin if you have oily skin probably don't want to get a hydrating foundation there's another option for you which is the pro matte the matte foundation so get that one like it's just kind of like common sense if you want to try it go ahead and try it maybe it will work for you you never know but um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you are not and i'll see you guys in my next video